I genuinely don't think women should drive. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? And I was like, I don't know. It's like, that was really bad of you. I wish I had boobs. Yeah, boobs help. Talk to us about your mate, Danny Boyle. Oh, oh, oh. Life of a celeb cabbie is not all it's cranked up to, is it, Dan? Well, I don't know. It's not that bad. I mean, we've interviewed DJ Ironic, Running Park. Uh, you guys did the risk, the yeah, Porsche. Right, actually. Yeah, we just need to increase our rates, I think. Yeah, you're right. I think there's going to be a lot of traffic today, and especially in this Skoda Yeti Urban. Yeah. We need to make a little bit more kashish out of this operation. Yeah, definitely. Shall I just uh, get our next client along? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one, actually. Me too. Absolutely. Layla, Anna Lee. Sky Sports, Olympics. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll go pick her up. Yeah, do that. She won't be long. Good, good. Let's get the meter set up. It's going to be great. Car for Houston? Yeah, yeah. yeah jump in, jump in. Get on in. How are you doing, Layla? I'm good. So if you can buckle up, because I think like health and safety laws, I don't want you to die. Do I need a helmet? No, way. Um, no, not at the moment. Also the heating, because obviously we want to make you super comfortable during this trip. You have put it on 25 degrees. Oh, have I? I'm so <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Let's see how out. it goes. I think you might be wanting to make me sweat. First impression, um, yeah. do you know what? I like the seats. It's kind of more spacious than you expect, actually, because it looks yeah. like a baby car outside. It's a bit girly. How do you feel driving it? I don't feel girly. Actually, I don't feel too masculine, though. Yeah. What's with white? Everyone buys the most beautiful cars in white. Yeah. Well, it's, it's that just... whole kind of pure thing, you know, like wedding dresses, isn't it? No, it's not. It's showing off. OK, good. We'll go with that, then. It's got a sat-nav, but is it Tom Tom? No, you're right. It's not. It's Amundsen. Okay. Have you heard them? No. Me neither. There you go, Layla. Now you can you could be the voice if you want. You can kind of watch the Edmonds. Yeah, how about that? You and direct us. Make a U-turn now. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. I going? think you need to be a bit more authoritative, though. Yeah? Yeah. Well, Danny said it was OK. Who? Danny Boyle. Oh, nice name drop. Uh -huh. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, you do. Apparently, your, your my mate. voice is just fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, go on, then. Talk to us it's fine for four billion people around the world. <laughs> but that, Adnan mate? wants me to adjust my voice. Talk to us about your mate, Danny Boyle. So, I hosted the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. In yeah. Trafalgar Square. Nice. Um, with a sniper on the roof watching over. The sniper told him. He was like, through the sights, he was watching he could be time. good for the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> but I got this phone call saying, you're a potential for the opening ceremony. No way. Wow. And I was like, OK, um, I'll be <laughs> down do more tomorrow. <laughs> he had a lady with him who kept bringing the conversation back to Sirius. Oh, really? Stuff. And you know what he said to me? Oh, I've been watching you on YouTube, been seeing oh, some of no your way. videos, seeing your showreel. I was that close to going, been watching your movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they booked me for the actual opening ceremony. I was in a booth, mm -hmm. um, okay. a glass booth with the queen on my left. No, right, that's my right. So um, I got the best seat in the house. And did you go sleep during the country announcement? I did the country announcement. Oh, sorry. Of course I couldn't go to sleep. Was, Two and a half hours of Azerbaijan. <laughs> my issue Kazakhstan. was, why couldn't they just run? They're athletes, jog it in. What, what do you drive, Layla? I drive a Citroen Zara family Suzuki. You don't? I call it the fire engine because it's bright red. So you really do drive a Zara? I really Incredible. do. I have a theory I want to discuss with you, though. Talk to us. Women drivers. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you've probably broached this subject in a sexist way a million and one times. I'm going to just hide yeah. just over here. I'm not, I'm not. I genuinely don't think women should drive. Wow. Whoa. I didn't see that coming. No, that's a strong one. So, okay, um, go on then. Where are you coming from? Elaborate. Women should be driven. Ooh. Oh, uh, well, there we go. If you were presenting, how would you present this Well, show? firstly, how does it feel to drive this car? Yeah, it's actually really nice. Thanks for asking, Layla. Like, it's good steering position. You're sitting quite high up off the road. And um, I don't know, I don't think I could get away with the look. It sound, it's quiet. Yeah, it's 1.2 petrol, so or it's no, loud. got no diesel rumble. This car has 17-inch Matterhorn alloys, obviously named after the mountain. You've done a bit of mountain bike related oh, presenting. Link. Can I get a high five? Yes. Did you see my sports mag shot? Yeah, yeah, I did see that one. Hello. I have a high five for that one. Yeah, right? nice high five. I was so proud one. of that. I'm going to milk that for as long as Yeah, no, for fine. sure. That's, that's a good one. I think a lot of men are. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Love that. We've been trawling through the depths of the internet and found some of your biggest fans and their YouTube comments. Okay. All right, so, Lil Doc, I think I am in love with her voice after watching the Olympics opening <laughs> ceremony. That's sweet. I want to make sweet love to her and every time I achieve orgasm. I want her to shout out some random country's name <laughs> in the exact manner she did during the ceremony. Final YouTube comment. Okay. I love her pronunciation of Italian and Spanish words. Oh gosh, I get this a lot. Give us, give us, give us a sort of a little flavour. Mario Balotelli. Oh. They like that. What about what about Adnan Ibrahim? Adnan Ibrahim. 
Oh, Jesus. What about Daniel Holly? Daniel Holly. So we have this. Indeed. How hot do you think it is out of 10? It's a seven. Under the hood, how much would you want to drive this? I have a Citroen Zara. I can't complain. Fair enough, <laughs> fair enough. No. Five, four, this five. Does a tank. Splash the cash. Now for 16995 would you be happy spending that much money? Well, that little, actually, I guess, really. Exactly. I'm going to give it an eight. Nice. How would you rate us on the rate on the like? Dan, go first. What would you give Dan? Out oh of yeah, time? go on then. Yeah, rate me. Dan being behind me. Mm -hmm. That's a vulnerable position. Don't, don't even. Nine. I wasn't even going to say a thing. No. So go on then. What would you rate me? I'm never going to compare to a nine. What is it? A one, two? Because you know you have to take me to like the door. Of Euston. Uh -huh. Does Euston don't worry. Like we'll make sure Adnan then picks you out of the car and carries you over. I'll get your bags. Then I'll give him a ten. Yay! Yay! You've just done the Olympics. It's been a busy two or three months. But what have you got coming up now? Okay. Well, like the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. The World Cup in 2014 in Brazil. Oh, have you, baby. Have you had the call up? Yeah. We've, we've, we're, we're chatting. I'm still working with OK Magazine. Mm -hmm. um, I write for the Huffington Sport. Oh, very nice. Very nice. See, I can write too. Still hosting football on goal.com. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's the end of your trip. Yes, we're um, Houston. Just on the meter, that's about 40 quid. OK. Um, do you take favours? Yeah. Let's go. Um, there's a cash point just there, so right. I'll go get the cash point. All right, cool. Oh, okay, we'll wait right here. Let... Actually, I don't think she's coming back. I don't think she's coming back. McDonald's? Yeah. <laughs>